So when we get to work with an executive team, the very first thing that happens is that I go in as a strategic advisor to get to know the team and get to really familiarize myself with their, their vision and their strategies that they have used in the past that are helpful and useful to them and help them in achieving their goals and also identifying some of the pain points that they're facing where perhaps they are not having a solution just yet. The most important thing about coming in as an outsider, as a consultant strategist, is that I get to bring in a point of view that is new and it allows us to be a little bit more creative, it allows us to be a little bit more innovative and to think outside of the box. I'm a firm believer that solutions come through discussion, through brainstorming, through evaluation of what has worked in the past and through this endless curiosity of what else might be possible. So as somebody who works with various industries and has a robust background in business, working with all manner of executive teams, it's a privilege to get to know the team and to get to know their culture. Culture is a very important element around problem solving and growth. And culture is something that is impacted by the team that you are currently employing, that is currently part of your company. The need for culture and the culture enhancement changes with the times. So at the moment, we are seeing a real focus and a need to focus on enhancing and shaping company culture. The trick around culture is that you have one whether or not you think you do, whether or not you are actively engaging in shaping the culture of your company. So as an outsider and as a consultant and a strategist with communication in mind, I really begin to support the executive team in creating an internal culture that is that is something that they can be proud of. We like to say that your first customer is your employees, is your team. Culture then becomes a focal point when we think about what do we want our consumer and customer to say about us. We really want to start with think thinking about what is our team saying about us already. So that's just one of the elements that we bring to the table. And how does branding and marketing fit into that? Well, branding and marketing is all about communicating your value proposition. It's evoking an emotion in people. And we really want to focus on evoking positive emotions that are in line with the vision and the mission that the company has internally first and externally simultaneously. Shaping that culture internally in your team and in your company and then being able to shape the culture externally by influencing and impacting your consumer and customer. It's a really incredible privilege to be able to think of impact through the work that you do and think about how you are changing communities and how you are changing the world by really paying attention to what your value proposition is, what your culture is internally, and how you how that then externally impacts your consumer. So that's one of the perspectives that we take on. And one of the reasons why I like taking on that, that perspective is because it leaves a lot of opportunity for innovative problem solving. I firmly believe that when you identify a problem in your company, no matter what department it uh, affects, no matter whether it's a, a margin conversation, a efficiency conversation, a skills and strengths conversation, uh, whatever it may be that you are experiencing in terms of a problem, when you approach the solution to solve from an innovative point of view that has the people that you are serving in mind, you will exponentially accelerate finding a solution that is a fit for the problem that you are facing. And as an outsider, I get to come in and bring perspective to problems that you are facing and that teams, executive teams are facing. Because the difference between me and you, there's lots of differences, but the main difference is that you are faced with your problem in your business continually, relentlessly, and it's in your face at all times. 
where the privilege of my position is that I get to come in with my knowledge and my expertise, sit with the executive team, evaluate it with them, and bring in a whole other perspective. There's so much more freedom when you work with somebody who isn't faced with the same problem in the same space as you are. So when I face problems as an executive in my company, I like to bring in people who are great problem solvers, who are innovative, who understand the culture of my company and understand where it is that we want to go. They're willing to identify the pain points and address the pain points with me and create an outcome that is best in line with where we're heading. And that is exactly what I do and what my team does when we come in and consult and work with and roll our sleeves up with the executive team.